Hello. All right, I'm gonna give everybody a little bit of time to log on so I can talk to you guys. Or, as Christy tells me, sweet tea time. <laughs> I may not get anybody. It's a, a random time of the day. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I've entitled today's sweet tea time. Um, uh, I forget what I've entitled. <laughs> um, but the one of the things that I want to talk about was disappointments. So um, that's what we're going to jump in with is disappointments and confessions. That was it. Confessions and disappointments. So um, I have to confess that I'm super disappointed right now in a lot of things. That's my confession for today is I'm disappointed. And um, so uh, disappointment number one is the rains and the storms are keeping us from water aerobics this week. And that makes me super bummed and disappointed because I have a really great workout planned. And we are going to have to cancel water aerobics for tonight with um, the tornado watches and warnings and the thunder and the lightning and the rain. It's just, it's not suitable for um, pool work. So um, if you haven't gotten the messages so far, um, no water aerobics tonight. So that is disappointment number one that I have. Um, however, the upside is... As long as it doesn't rain and storm and tornado and everything else on Thursday and Friday, we will try again at 4.30 or rewind at 5.30 and 6.30 having um, basically makeup water aerobics classes out here in Swansea. So I hope you'll, you'll join us. Um, even if it's your first time, I hope you'll join us. So again, no water aerobics classes tonight. I apologize. Unfortunately, as much as I would wish I could control the weather, I can't. And so um, we're canceling for tonight, but we are going to make up for both Monday and Wednesday's cancellations, Thursday and Friday at 5.30 and 6.30 on both days. And then, of course, we have our Aqua Boot Camp uh, on Saturday at 9 a.m. So I hope you will come to any and all of them. It's $5 per person per hour. So if like, you want to come and stay for the two hours, you're welcome to. So that's my first disappointment. The weather has caused great disappointment. My second disappointment is, so I don't know, go, know how many of you know, but I go to Orlando every year in July, July, August for Zumba convention. And I do continuing education and I dance a lot and it's super exciting. Um, I didn't get to go last year because I was like 36 weeks pregnant and Chris didn't want me having a baby at the Zumba convention. So I, I missed out. So I'm really excited about this year, but I'm bummed because we don't have any regular classes right now. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe by then we'll have regular classes. So when I go get that continuing ed, I have, um, have something to come back to, to teach. Um, however, so we always have a theme party at convention and this year is the 10th convention and the theme is gold and they want us to come all dressed in gold. So I found this beautiful dress. I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. See it hanging there? Isn't it beautiful? And it's gold. Oh, anyway. I got these gorgeous shoes that are gold to go with it. And I'm all excited because I got it for a great price and I got it early. Didn't fit. Too small. <laughs> Disappointed. So, um, I thank you, Jessica. I am really excited at how pretty it is, but it's too small. And so I said to Chris, my husband, I'm like, so do I send it back and get something different? Or do I buckle down and try to make it fit by July? So what do y'all think? Jessica, April, thank you, April, as well. Do I buckle down and try to lose the weight and make it fit? Or do I send it back and try to order something bigger? Even though I don't want to order bigger, I want to be smaller. So if you missed my video yesterday, I have lost 12 pounds in um, 21 days. So maybe, maybe. Maybe. Jessica says buckle down and make it work. 
Ah, uh, yes. Jennifer says buckle down and make it work. April says to buckle down and make it work. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do, sir. Y'all have to help me. Y'all got to keep me in, in check and make sure that I, um, that, I, yeah. And here's the thing, too, ladies. That sequence has no give to it whatsoever, especially in the chesticle area. <laughs> so, um... I may just have to duct tape those babies down. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's my second disappointment. Rain was disappointment one. Too small dress was disappointment two. Disappointment three was your your pal, your coach, your teacher, your Zumba instructor will never give up on you. And I continue to not give up on you. And every day I am looking for places for us to have classes. And I am making phone calls and sending out emails and beating down doors. And I swear every time I turn around, the answer is no. And I'm really disappointed. And so that's just the honest to goodness truth. I just want to teach. I just want to teach Zumba on a weekly basis. I want to get my, my groove on. I want to dance with you guys. And every time I turn around, there's another no. But as disappointed as I am, and as much as it drives me crazy, I'm going to keep keep on keeping on, not only for me, but for you. So, again, I say, and again I plead, if you or someone you know has a venue that we could use for not too much, or maybe we do a percentage um, so that if our class attendance is small, we're, we're not going into debt to have Zumba classes, Please keep us in mind that we just need a venue to teach. Um, we just need a venue to do what we're passionate about. Um, so that is disappointment number three today. Um, however, on the upside, because there's always an upside, um, we had a great pop-up class last night in Pelion. And I know, Jessica, you were there. April was there. And um, I had a great time. I came home and looked at myself, and my legs were soaked with sweat, my pant legs. Then when I took my top off and went to change, um, even the butt of my pants was soaked. So if that doesn't say something, I don't know. It was a good workout. It was good. Um, I had a blast. Um, there is the possibility, we don't, we don't have an answer yet, there is the possibility of us being at that facility in the future. Um, well, Jessica, you didn't look like an idiot, and it was a great workout, so none of, we all look crazy when we're dancing. Um, actually, one of the ladies said that she felt like she looked like an octopus doing the Charleston, which I thought was the cutest, funniest thing that anyone has ever said about Zumba. Um, but, you know, who cares what we look like? We have fun. Um, and I was whooped, too. Especially after April's song, Craziness. That was good. I love that song. So, um, yes, Jessica, you're great. Um, so anyway, um, yes, I'm disappointed that we don't have a venue for Zumba, particular, particularly. I can't even talk. Um, but I'm not going to give up. We do have hope at this church in Pelion. Um, yes, April's correct. No one looked like an idiot. Except maybe me a couple times because I forget choreography all the time. Um, but anyway. So you guys just keep looking out for us. Um, I Okay, y'all are going to laugh. <laughs> I'm sitting here. Just got a text message. Um, we're going to have another class in Pillion on Tuesday, six o'clock. Hope you can come. <laughs> just, text just came in. Um, so it's still not a go for every single week, but it's a go for Tuesday. So you guys are the first to hear. I was, you know what, whatever. I usually try to make these like beautiful announcements, but the text popped down on my phone while I'm right here live with you. So guess what? We're going to have Zumba on Tuesday at six o'clock. So hopefully, um, April, you'll come and help me instruct. I don't know if it works with your schedule. If it doesn't, that's fine. And Jessica and Jennifer, I hope you'll come. And I don't know if anybody else has joined us, um, but we're going to do it again and it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Let us know if you have requests. And so you see, you see how that happens? I was all disappointed. I was getting teary-eyed, and then I get to teach Zumba next week. So, um, 
let's get the word out. Let's spread it and we'll start right here. Y'all better be there. Six o'clock. Um, we will, uh, maybe we'll break, instead of having basic steps, maybe we'll break down some choreographies. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the songs maybe that people had trouble with on Tuesday, we'll break those down during the first 30 minutes and then do the, um, hour. And that especially I think works good for people who can't get there till 630. Jennifer will hate to miss you. Hopefully you'll be able to join us soon. Um, yes, Saturday, nine o'clock, we will have Aqua Boot Camp. It'll be great. Um, so yeah, this makes me feel a little bit crazy because I'm all like teary eyed and, and then I get that text. So that's, um, that's really exciting. So hopefully it'll keep working out that every week we can have Zumba class. But yes, still, if you know of a place, <laughs> please let us know. Um, we are... I'm not going to say we, I'll say me, because I know April has her schedule and Christy has her schedule, um, but we, I, I keep saying we, um, I am willing to teach in the Swansea, Gaston, Pelion, um, Casey, West Columbia, Red Bank areas. So if you know of any buildings that we could use on an hourly basis to teach classes, we sure would appreciate it. Um, what else? Do you have any questions for me? We had a, I had a and a sweet tea time the other day and nobody joined, so I didn't get to answer any questions. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to think if there was anything else I was going to share with you guys. So yeah, water aerobics canceled, but tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. So three days in a row we'll get our good water aerobics. Oh, so um, I know Jennifer has been doing our 100 day challenge. Um, anybody else want to join us? Let me know. If you're not already in the group, I can add you. Um, today was day six for me. And let me tell you, it was a tough one. Um, I've been shooting to do three and a half miles, um, every day. And, uh, so I went out today and I had, um, Ben in the giant stroller that actually a lot of you pitched in for to get for me. And man, Running and pushing that thing and the hills and stuff on my dad's trails, holy smokes, what a workout. I only got three miles in. I didn't get the other half a mile in because I was whooped, but it was good. So, uh, yeah. Um, so if you want to be a part of the challenge, let me know and I'll put you in the group. Um, Jessica wants to know if I'm going to do another Sculpt and Tone video soon. I actually was thinking about doing it today since I canceled water aerobics. However, my husband's home and he um, sometimes makes fun of me when I do my videos. Um, yes, with the rain tonight. It's going to be a challenge. It is. It is a challenge. Um, so try to get your mile in uh, somehow. Um, I don't. I guess you don't have a treadmill um, or access to one, um, but that's usually for me in the rain is the best way to get my mile in. Otherwise, put on a Fitbit and start moving in the house <laughs> to get that mile in. It'll be good. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys about? Oh, going back, doing, doing another Sculpt in Tone. Jessica, I haven't forgotten you. Oh, you said you won't work out in front of your husband. He, I always think think he laughs at me. Yeah, I'm the same way, um, especially when I'm doing these videos. Um, but some of these Sculpt and Tone videos, I actually need someone to help me to like shoot them correctly because even with my computer, I feel like y'all aren't getting a good view. But yes, I do have a plan to do one. Um, if not today, tomorrow. And um, what I think the next one is going to be because the one I did on Monday got cut short. Um, I actually think I'm going to shoot one that is going to give you um, a couple of exercises for upper body, a couple of exercises for core, and a couple of exercises for legs. So you can get a full body workout in 15 minutes instead of just one body part. Um, just to kind of make up where the ab workout got cut short. Um, but yeah, so Jessica, I assume since you're asking, you like those videos, even if I'm a little bit crazy. Um, so yes, I am going to get that, get that done for you guys. Um, what else are you guys wanting out of, um, out of me, out of our classes, out of, uh, the live videos? Um, what else, what other questions do you want me to answer? What do you want me to blog about? What do you want me to talk about? What do you want me to show you when it comes to exercise? Um, recipes, etc. Um, you know, this has been 
been tough not having the classes, but at the same time, it's opened up a way for me to to give back to you guys without having a venue. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying I'm, I'm enjoying this little uh, I guess break in a lot of ways um, to do something different with you. Um, you love the upper, upper body one I did. Thank you. Um, I actually um, did that one and was kind of sore. And then I was sore from the core workout we did. Um, so I'm going to have to reshoot that one um, as a whole so you can see the whole thing. Um, but anyway, uh, Jennifer has been sending great questions and great topics for both um, Sweet Tea Time and my blogs. Um, her questions have been so great that I've had to do the blog alongside the Sweet Tea Time because they're so in-depth. Um, I try to keep these videos somewhat short. Um, in fact, this one's going a little bit long. So, um, yeah, any um, anything else that you guys want um, or you think is important to talk about, um, even personal questions, I... I feel like I'm pretty much an open book and I'm pretty transparent and honest. Um, at least I'm getting more that way the older I get because I'm getting where I don't care as much about things. Uh, I had a conversation with my mom today about, I have had a lot of conversations with people um, have, this, this has nothing to do with weight loss, fitness, or anything like that, but um, uh, I, I say young people, I feel like I'm still young, about enjoying every, um, every part of their life um, when it comes to relationships. So if you are single, enjoy being single and enjoy that season of your life. And then when you begin to date someone, um, enjoy that season of your life. When and if you become engaged, enjoy that season of your life. Don't ever rush the season you're in. Um, and that's just a lesson for me. Um, even with this whole thing of being without, being, um, what I call Zumba homeless, um, don't rush the season and you're in, you're in, enjoy every season. And so, um, I want to, I want to enjoy this season of doing things just differently. Um, you know, kind of flying by the seat of our pants, right? Um, but along that too, I was telling my mom, like when it comes to my journey, my weight loss journey, um, getting back to the fitness level I was at in 2015, um, I've really come to accept who I am and I am tired of hating myself and hating my body and being insecure. Um, am I happy with my body? No. Do I want my body to improve? Yes. But I am done with hating my body and it is time for me to take my own advice and enjoy every season of my life. I was enjoying 2015 when I was the smallest I had been in years and I was as fit as I had been probably ever. Um, I enjoyed that season. I did not enjoy being pregnant, but I should have. I should have, you know, enjoyed that season, but I didn't. Um, and then after having been, I should have enjoyed that season, but I wanted to rush it. And I, I rushed trying to get back to who I was and I wasn't that person anymore. And I ended up doing more harm than good, which took me out of the game even longer. And, um, and because I had such like self-destruction and hate, I ended up doing more damage than good. So if you can learn anything from me, don't hate, don't hate your body. I mean, this is the, the, the house that God put you in. Love your body, love where you are at every step of the way. No matter if you're a size zero, a size six, or a size 26, or a size, I don't even know, 36. I don't care if you're 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 600 pounds, I'm not saying give up, and I'm not saying don't try to be better, but I'm saying love yourself enough to keep going. Love yourself enough to strive to be better. And, um, and that's just where, where I'm at, um, is, is learning to love me for me, right now and love myself enough to know that I can be better, but I'm also not going to hate myself in this moment. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's kind of my life lesson today. Um, and so it's the same thing with this venue for our, our classes. I'm not, I, I have to stop being disappointed um, and start being thankful for what I do have and thankful that my parents allow me to use the facility here um, and the pool here so that I can can offer uh, what I what I can offer and be thankful for um, Miss Rana who lets us um, or not lets us but she gets permission for us to use the church in Pelion once in a while and hopefully that'll become a weekly thing so um, this is why this is good talking to you guys because I come in and I was upset and I was ready to burst into tears and by talking to you guys I come out of it, and I come out learning a lesson. So thank you for teaching me to not give up and to make, hold on, hold on. Not give up and to work my tushy off to make that dress fit. And I'm not going to give up on me. I'm not going to give up on my body. I'm not going to give up on wearing that dress by July. So y'all keep after me. I'm not going to give up on finding a place to teach. And I'm not going to give up on you guys. So don't give up on yourself either. And don't give up on me. So um, someone's knocking at my bedroom door. So I'm going to go. And uh, Jessica, stay tuned. I'll get that video done for you. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Stay safe in this crazy weather. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow at 530 for water aerobics. Bye.